What's up everyone? Welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John and as you can see behind me, I have a somewhat extensive record collection. Today I want to talk about, as requested by you guys, some of my favorite records. In fact, my top 12 favorite colored vinyl records. In recent years, it's become increasingly popular for a band or an artist to release something on a limited or an exclusive colored pressing. And while I know that sometimes those are not the best quality pressings, the inner I love aesthetics in me is coming out and saying I need this record, I have to have it in my collection, so today that is why I will be revealing my top 12 most beautiful records in my entire collection. I have to put it on record though that there were so many pretty records that I owned, so many that I could have chosen from, so many different colors, varieties, and so many different qualities I suppose. Some are even the super high quality 180 gram pressings, there is a little bit of everything in my collection and obviously some bands and artists simply do not release things on colored vinyl so that is why you will not be seeing the Beatles or Iggy Pop or etc etc on the list today not everyone does the colored pressings and that's fine I'm more than happy to still have them in my collection anyways I hope you guys enjoy seeing this short little vinyl video today if you do enjoy it then please drop a like on it let me know any other record collection videos that you'd like to see me do in the future and comment below which record out of these 12 that I'm about to showcase would you want to steal. The very first record that I'm showcasing at number 12 is Waterparks' debut album, Double Dare. This was a limited pressing, only 100 copies were made, and it's a beautiful kind of splattered maroon copy, and I'm so lucky to have gotten this myself and my girlfriend immediately ordered as soon as it went online, and we're lucky that we did because it sold out extremely quickly. This is a very nice maroon splattered edition that looks great on the turntable and it looks even better when the sunlight hits. Running in at number 11, we have Bring Me the Horizon, the UK rockers and their album That's the Spirit that released in 2015. This pressing didn't immediately become available, but as soon as it did, you bet your ass that I was all over it. This is kind of a cloudy, almost veiny type orange pressing that fits really nicely with the way that the gatefold has that artwork that has a very intense kind of watercolor effect. And I really feel like even though this album does have the black cover, the orange is just something that immediately draws the eye and is so, so pretty. Number 10 is a very unique pick, at least in my opinion. I love the fact that this is a double disc album and both of the discs that are included are different colors and different styles. This is Tame Impala's 2015 release, Currents, and this album, marvelous as it is, of course is even bettered for me when putting it on the turntable because you have the translucent kind of orange second disc, and the first disc is something that is just a standard very pretty violet purple. Number nine is a doozy. This is a heavy three record set, three LPs here, and it is such a beautiful, crisp and deep blue color. I love this shade of blue. It is a very high quality pressing, 180 gram vinyl, sounding incredible. And this of course is OK Computer, the OK Not OK edition that has all of the extra tracks. It's something that I had to pick up as I've fallen a little bit more in love with Radiohead, especially this album. I love it when color coding is done properly and Brand New's 2017 release, Science Fiction, absolutely nailed it with the vinyl release. This of course was my favorite record of 2017 and you can see on the album cover that you have the two women that are wearing the red jacket and then the blue skirt and then the vinyl goes according to that. It has a little bit of cloud in there but it's just such a crisp color that is such good quality. I was struggling to find a pressing of this for the longest time because this was the indie exclusive, but you could tell just by holding it how good of the quality that this record is. I'm a sucker for the splatter, and reeling its way in at number seven is a very nice pressing of Welcome to the Neighborhood by Boston Manor. This is their sophomore album, and the pressing that I scooped up has a little bit of black, white, and a whole lot of red with kind of a cloudy tint in there, the white that is mixed around the edges. It's such a pretty record that just immediately looked even better than it did online when I pre-ordered the album. I had it arrive to my house, and I unboxed it, and immediately had to put it on the turntable just because it was that pretty, that alluring, and of course, the record sounds great. What I love most about my number six selection from Under the Cork Tree by Fall Out Boy is the fact that, once again, the color coding is on point the way that it correlates with the album's cover, and just the fact that this record kind of looks like it's bleeding out all over my gold carpet. 
That's what I kind of envision. It's something that almost looks like it's as thin as vapor as it fades out and trails off to the edges. It's just such a cool stain that's almost placed upon it. And the initial section of the record, the center part, the heart of it, I suppose, the little seven inch just is entirely maroon. But as it goes out, it slowly starts to lose that splatter. And I have to commend whoever made this great pressing. There's many reasons why I love Get Behind Me Satan, including the pressing of the record. I scooped this one up at Record Store Day in Canada in 2015. I happened to be in Niagara Falls traveling at that time, but I did not miss out on Record Store Day. You can see here that it has the holographic album cover that moves when you twist it from side to side, which is great in and of itself. And then you have the records, which are so detailed, so vibrant and shiny. You've got the red and the white, and I feel like it's a perfect representation, of course, of the white stripes. And it just reminds me of like medicine and like we're swallowing a pill or something. I don't know. I'm crazy, but I love, love, love this pressing. You're going to start to see how much I adore a well done tricolor pressing, starting with my number four pick, No Closer to Heaven by The Wonder Years. This was initially a pressing that I picked up as a gift for my girlfriend back in 2016, I believe. It was a tricolor pressing that I just couldn't take my eyes off. But when it arrived, I just couldn't get over the detail that went into this, including on the back of the second record, the etching that was done there. It's fascinating to the eye, and the tricolor is just so pleasing. You have this creamy yellow, you also have a deep, kind of almost royal blue, and then the maroon. And the way that they fade into each other, it's just impossible to resist. You take this out and you just want to stare at it. I wasn't kidding about those tricolor pressings, because at number three, we have Microwave and their album Stovall. This is a fascinating release to me just because of the way that not only it looks once again, it does remind me of the Wonder Years record, but this one, even though I feel like it was probably done by the same company, I just feel like the colors and the way that they line up with what's on the actual album covers is just so good to me. I like the album cover in and of itself just because it kind of creeps you out a little bit, but the way that the record is done, it feels like translucent in the blue part, but in the others, it just feels so deep and rich with the yellow and even kind of the off purple, kind of maroonish, kind of violet. It's hard to pin down exactly what it is, but it's just eye candy and it looks like literal candy kind of too. Something that definitely does not need to clean up its looks would be my number two pick, The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. Now, for the longest time, I did not know that this pressing existed. In fact, I originally had an all-black copy of this album, which I ended up selling. And then I got this one in exchange. I got the bone splatter pressing, which is what this is referred to. It kind of looks like a cow, but it also kind of looks like a bone splatter. And it's so, so cool. I love the fact that it just looks cloudy on the exterior. And then the closer you get to it, you can see like everything is coming together. It looks like a demon about to attack the innocent and pure. And that's kind of what I get when I listen to this record. According to my expert opinions, I have pinned down my trained eye to see see the most beautiful record in my collection, and I have seen straight to the heart of it, and we flip to the P part of my collection. That sounded weird. We flip to the, to the panic part of the collection. Don't panic. It's not Don't Panic by All Time Low, although I do love that pressing. It is Panic at the Disco, and their 2008 album, Pretty Odd. When this album re-released on vinyl at Hot Topic, I knew and at least hoped that it would be pretty, but my god, I did not know how breathtaking it would be. This is like looking at a spring day and Easter and just taking a bite of that. If you could take a bite of spring, it would be this record. It is the most beautiful shade of purple. And it has just a little bit of that almost cream colored white that is mixed in with a little bit of swirl. Adding in a cloudy exterior on one side and a little bit more of that cream on the other. It is so fantastic, so alluring, and I've seen different pressings and different editions of this record in the past that I've liked, but none even hold a candle to my number one. That's it for this collection video, guys. What did you think of my beautiful vinyl records, the best of my colored collection? 
Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video, and of course, if you would like to see other vinyl videos in the future, then let me know what exactly you'd like to see. Other than that, feel free to support the channels on Patreon at the top link down below, or else the annotation in the corner. It helps the content keep flowing on both of my channels. If you want to see the last vinyl update, then tap right here, or tap here for another recent video on Beyond. Other than that, my socials are in the description, and I'll see you soon for more.